Praise the Lord. God bless you in Jesus' mighty name. Always a privilege to bring the word of God with you. I'm back again with another powerful prophetic word. If you're seeing me for the first time, my name is Samuel E. Molombe. I am the man that God uses. I'm back again with this awesome prophetic word. Welcome. Thank you for everyone that uh, um, watch our videos regularly. You are subscribed. You are a member of the channel. Thank you. God bless you. In Jesus' precious name. Family, God says you are not safe in the company of these people. The Lord says you are not safe in the company of these people. There is somebody that is connected on this platform to me now. God is speaking to you. You just acquainted yourself with some people recently. A new group of people that, you know, started getting really close to you. They're doing everything in their power to get close to you. You are really loving it because um, you are alone. You feel lonely. And you're thinking that these are God-sent people into your life. This is a very specific prophetic word. The Lord says that you are not safe in the company of these people. You need to be careful. You need to be very careful as you um, um, open up yourself, as you open up your stories. Let people or let time prove the people that you must walk with. Can I say that again? Let time prove the people that you must go at length with. I know that the default is for you to trust everyone that you see, which is okay. As a believer, um, Bible did not say trust. It says trust in the Lord with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your strength. He didn't say trust anyone else. But he says love. So you can love people from a distance. You can genuinely love them without bringing them into your home. So that the people who gain access to information about you are people who have proven themselves over time. I remember um, um, I'm praying for somebody that was going through a very bad um, separation. Not really a divorce, just a separation. At the time, um, the, the, this particular person, the spouse didn't want to actually divorce uh, um, um, her, um, her, but wanted to separate for a while. He says, I want to know where, uh, what, uh, what I'm going to do. I want to know if I'm going to continue this marriage or not. So just needed a separation. And it was longer than she anticipated. And then she began to have some people who, you know, started coming to her, telling her stories that this guy is doing this and that outside and everything. So that she too can have her own, you know, um, um, she, she starts searching because apparently the guy is uh, never coming back. So she came to me for counseling and I told her, number one, that you are separated and not divorced. So everything that you are doing in this state of separation is adultery. When you get into another relationship, you are not doing the right thing. So I prayed with her, gave her counsels, and told her to be very careful with these people who bring information to her family. Just a few months later, she discovered that one of the ladies who was, who was talking to her consistently about her uh, uh, estranged husband at this time was madly in love with her husband and wanted him for herself. I mean, how it came out was amazing because when they reconciled, the man began to tell her to be careful with these friends and these friends and these friends. And she said, why? These are my really good friends. They were the ones encouraging me, you know, all during the period. And the man opened up text messages and she was in shock. That's how I got to know about the story. I said, I told you, be careful. There are people that come your way. Yeah, it's good to love people, but let time prove them. Let time prove the people that you must go at length with. Some of them are just coming to get information. Some of them are just coming to really see you. They take photos and mock you. Some of them are coming so that their presence can say, we told you you are going to crash. 
Some of them are there as monitoring spirits. They never say congratulations, but they don't want you to delete their numbers. They don't ever comment on any of your posts, but they are just there. They are watching, monitoring where, what you post, where you are going, who you have a date with. God says you should be careful how you open yourself. I'm praying that God will give you wisdom to discern between the men that God gives and the men that the devil releases. You see, listen, if you have listened to this point, I have a good, I have a good word for you. When God wants to bless a man, he sends a man into his life. When the devil wants to destroy a man, he sends a man into his life. Wisdom will determine, or wisdom will give you, uh, 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 wisdom is identifying who sent this person that is coming into your life. Is it God or the devil? The Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Let me know if you receive this word with gladness. God bless you. Shalom.